UFC 268, Alex Pereira just stunned the world with a flying knee. It was an insane knockout. So let's just introduce this young man, who he is, what he has done so far, and why you should be interested in him. Alex Pereira is a very famous kickboxer who just made his transition to the UFC similarly as Israel Adesanya did back in 2018. And remember Adesanya because he will be important in the story and you will find out very quickly how. Alex Pereira grew up in Brazilian favela. Favela is a basically nickname for ghetto. It's a very mean and nasty place. It's a very poverty-stricken place that gives rise to very tough people. One way how to pass your time in such a place is to get into fights. And Alex Pereira did, in a, to get, did get into fights quite often. One of the also most famous people from Favela is Charles Oliveira, who is current lightweight champion of the world. So Alex Pereira grew up in such a place. He started working in a tire factory at the age of 12, which is you know, child labor, child labor, such a thing in Brazil, it's a very common thing. And also he became alcoholic at a very early age as a teenager, which is very, you know, it's a very un unfortunate uh, thing that happened to anyone. But after discovering kickboxing, he decided to, put, to basically just put his past life behind him and focus on the future. And kickboxing basically saved his life. And very quickly, he found out that he has a God-given talent for kickboxing. And not only that, he has God-given talent for power. You know, I'm not talking just any power. I'm talking one-punch power. That kind of power that can just put anyone's lights out. So very quickly, Alex Pereira rose, <laughs> rose through opposition. Very quickly, he started facing top kickboxers from the world. He won Glory Middleweight Championship. And everybody who, who is aware of what Glory is, Glory is basically one of the most famous promotions for kickboxers. So if you win a championship in Glory, it means you faced the best kickboxers in the world. And not only that, guess who he faced in his kickboxing career? That's right, Israel Adesanya. They fought two times. The current Middleweight Champion in the UFC and one of the best strikers in the world, Israel Adesanya, fought Alex Pereira twice, and guess what happened? Some might say that ah, easy one, easily, no problem, because we've seen him dominate in fight quite easily, right? But Alex Pereira dominated, I can't repeat it, dominated Israel Adesanya twice. And in one of those fights, he knocked him out cold. You can see it right here. It was a nasty knockout, right? God damn, I mean, dead left hook, sheesh, Jesus. No one wants to be hit that, you know? And it was the only KO loss that Adesanya suffered in his entire career. So if I tell you that Pereira is legit, he indeed is. And this is one of the proofs to prove it. And why is it amazing? And what does the future hold for him? Well, I can see him rise quickly through the ranks because like, we can clearly see that if he's on the striking level of Adesanya, he can clear up the division quite fast. And what could be more interesting than basically MMA rematch between Pereira and Adesanya, I mean, holy hell, they'll be one of the greatest, most technical striking matches of all time. The only thing that I can see which could stay in uh, Pereira's way should be some skilled wrestler. You know, how quickly he can learn that takedown defense. Some fighters like Vittori, Brunson, Jack Hermanson are all ahead of him in the rankings and they all can pose as a great threat to kickboxers. So we'll need to see how quickly he can adapt that solid takedown defense, similarly as Adesanya did. We know that, for example, Pereira surrounded himself with a good team. He's training with Glover Teixeira, who just recently at the UFC 267 beat Jan Blakovic to win a belt. And Glover Teixeira has very good wrestling and very good takedowns. So we can just guess that Pereira has a very good team around him. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds for him. So comment down below what you think is gonna happen with his career. I can't wait to see him fight again.